Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, January 21st, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a very loud cat who's mad that I'm not playing with her right now, so if you hear meowing, <laughs> that's pistachio. <laughs> and I have with me this text from the early 8th century. This is an illustration of the prophet Ezra. As we know from Ezra and Nehemiah, the books in the Old Testament or Hebrew Scriptures, Ezra um, finds the scrolls of the book of Deuteronomy. And Ezra reads them aloud, but there is no indication that Ezra copies them. But this medieval illustration, of course, is, resonates because the scribes would have copied. And of course, Ezra and Nehemiah would have uncovered a scroll whereas these are actually books, books on shelves, but they're books handwritten, for the scribes would copy the Bible word by word with ink. It's funny how he's got his feet on a stool and, his, and the book on his knees, strange way to copy. He also looks very old and I wonder about his eyesight. And I need reading glasses already. But what an act of devotion. Today is our day of worship when we're given some wonderful texts. Jesus is talking about fishing for people. And there is a guy who actually was in a fish, Jonah. The book of Jonah is just four chapters. It's a very brief book about a strange, <laughs> funny man who really was very stubborn and wanted his way. It's really a tug of war between the will of Jonah and the will of God. God says to Jonah, go to Nineveh and tell the people that they're not behaving and they're going to be destroyed if they don't get their act together. And Jonah says, I don't want to go. So he gets on a boat and he goes the opposite direction to Tarshish. Well, there's a huge storm and the sailors say something is wrong. Meanwhile, Jonah's fast asleep in the belly of the boat. And the storm is so bad, they wake him up and they say, did you do something? What's going on? This storm is terrible. Is your God mad at you? And Jonah first doesn't say anything, and then he sees how bad the storm is, and he says, just try to throw me over. And they say, why? What'd you do? And he said, the Lord told me to go here, and I'm not going there. <laughs> At first, the sailors don't want to throw him over. They're very kind people. But then the storm worsens, and they chuck him overboard, and he's swallowed by a fish. And there in the belly of the fish, Jonah says, okay, I'll do whatever you want, God. And this fish spits him out near Nineveh. So he walks over there. <laughs> he prophesies and says, you all are doing terrible. The Lord's going to destroy you. And they get their act together. They're scared and they start behaving better. So God changes his mind or her mind. Jonah gets mad at God again and says, hey, I said they were going to destroy the people. So why don't you do it? And God says, really? God makes a plant grow up to give Jonah shade and, and then the plant withers and Jonah gets so mad and God says, you're mad because I destroyed the plant, but what about all these people? Wouldn't it be good to save them? This silly man is so human and it's in the belly of the fish that he finally gives way to the will of God. It's so easy to try to do what we want, but we never end up doing very well that way. <laughs> doing the will of God is so much better. But we fundamentally have to give up and understand that it, we're not smart enough to know what God wants of us or what is the best thing for us to do. We just don't see far enough or clear enough. We don't know. We have to get the one who knows all things to tell us what to do. It's like driving without the GPS. Why would we want to have our will be done when we don't know <laughs> what the best thing is? So Jonah, this silly man, is us. And it's only in the belly of the fish that he finally says, maybe my will isn't the best way. 
Can you say to God, thy will be done today? Can you listen? I'm going to try. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of this day, and we know that you created us in your image and for your purpose, that you have a purpose for us, many purposes, in fact, and that it is your joy when we say, thy will be done, when we listen. Help us to discern your will. Help us to turn to others for guidance. Help us to find small groups that can help us discern your will, for we can't do it by ourselves. Help us to pray with others. We thank you for Jonah's stubbornness and silliness, for it teaches us how stubborn and silly we are. We thank you for Ezra and all those who loved your scripture, for it is a way that you help us discern your will. Bless the sick today, Lord Christ, and bless those who mourn and those who are dying. Bless those who are homeless. Bless those who find themselves in prison. Bless those who need forgiveness and those who need to forgive. Bless those who are alone. Bring peace to this world, Lord, and give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you've given us. In Jesus' name we pray, thy will be done. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.